Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a playoff simulation in NHL 24 of the final four teams in the American Hockey League as the conference finals is going to get going tonight. In the Western Conference, we've got the Coachella Valley Firebirds against the Milwaukee Admirals in the Eastern Conference. It's the Hershey Bears versus the Cleveland Monsters. The Hershey Bears did win the Calder Cup last year, and they actually played Coachella. It was Coachella's first season in the league. They went all the way to Game 7 overtime, but ended up falling up a little bit short. Hershey is obviously a very decorated franchise in the AHL. I honestly think that there's a really good chance that we do have a repeat finals of what we had last year, but Cleveland and Milwaukee are also two pretty good teams, so we'll see what ends up happening. Let's get going here and simulate the conference finals and the Calder Cup and see who will win the 2024 Calder Cup. So we're about to get going here, game number one of the playoffs. Let's see who will take it between Coachella and Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a 1-0 series lead. Over to the Eastern Conference, Cleveland takes a 1-0 series lead. Now on to game number twos. 2-0 two series lead for the Milwaukee Admirals. Can Cleveland do the same over Hershey? Hershey will even up this series. So that series is currently 1-1. A 3-0 series lead for the Milwaukee Admirals over Coachella Valley. Let's see what will happen between Hershey and Cleveland. Cleveland now has a 2-0 series lead. Can Milwaukee close out Coachella Valley with a sweep? And they do, so Coachella will be going home and Milwaukee will be going on to the Calder Cup Finals. Game number four, Cleveland-Hershey. It's a 2-2 series now after Hershey evens it up. Let's see who will take game number five. And the Hershey Bears take game number five, so they have a 3-2 series lead. Looking to go back to the Calder Cup Finals once again, and it's a 3-3 series, so we got game seven now between Cleveland and Hershey. Let's see who will take this one. And the Hershey Bears will take it in seven games. They will be playing the Milwaukee Admirals in the Calder Cup Finals. Let's take a look at the scoring after seven games. Joel Snively's got nine points. Scarbosa, eight. Malatesta, Phillips, they got seven. Kemmel has got six. Same with Lind. And then Parson and LaRue, Shane Wright have got five points. If you're looking at goaltenders now, Askarov, he was awesome. 4-0 with a 928 save percentage. Hunter Shepard, 4-3 with a 909. The only goalie that was not too good was Chris Drieger with Coach Coachella Valley 0 and 4 with an 875. All right, so now we are here in the Calder Cup Finals. Let's see who will take this series. Is Hershey going to be able to repeat, or will we have a new champion with the Milwaukee Admirals? It's 1-1 after one, 2-2 after two, and after three periods, Hershey will take this one and take a one nothing series lead. We are on now to game number two. Hershey obviously has home ice advantage. Let's see if they can take advantage of that. They did in game number one, but they're going to be going to Milwaukee. Milwaukee will be hungry to win one at home. Milwaukee's up 1-0 after one. 2-1 Hershey after two, and Hershey will take game two, three to two. Game number three now between Hershey and Milwaukee in the Calder Cup Finals. Milwaukee's going home down 0-2, but I mean they haven't played at home yet, so let's see if they can win this one. They're down 4 nothing after one. 6-1 Hershey after 2, and this game will end 7-2, so Hershey is up 3-0, looking to clinch another Calder Cup. So game four now between Hershey and Milwaukee in the Calder Cup Finals. Let's see if Milwaukee can battle back and win this series. They're up 1-0 after 1, 2-0 after 2, and they will take this one 4-1, so they scave off an elimination in game four. Game number five, now can Hershey close this out at home or will Milwaukee force a game six back at home after the first period? 2-1 for Hershey. After two, it remains 2-1 and Milwaukee will win this one 3-2. Two third period goals and this series is going to game six. Game six now between Hershey and Milwaukee. Milwaukee is back at home. Let's see if they can force a game number seven after being down 3-0. It's 1-1 after one, 2-2 two -two after two. After three periods, it is still 2-2. Let's see who will be the OT hero. Game number six in this game has ended. The Milwaukee Admirals are forced a game seven back in Hershey. All right, so we're now on to game number seven. Hershey was up 3 nothing in this series, and Milwaukee has battled all the way back. They are looking to do a reverse sweep. After the first period, there's no score. After the second period, there is still no score. After the third period, Hershey scores two goals. Milwaukee only scores one. A 2-1 final, and the Hershey Bears are back-to-back -back Calder Cup champions. So let's take a look at the final stats for the last two rounds. Snively ends up leading the playoffs in scoring. 15 points, Phillips 14, Scarboza 12, 
Kemmel 11, Limoges and Parson in 10, Frank with 8, same with Tomasino, Foodie finishes with 7, now looking at goaltenders, Hunter Shepard, 8, 6, and 1, 2 shutouts, 9, 17 save percentage, Ascarov was awesome as well, 7, 4, and 0, oh, no shutouts, 9, 21 save percentage. Thank you very much for watching this video, a playoff simulation in NHL 24 of the final four teams in the American Hockey League. I'm curious to see if Hershey is going to be able to repeat this year, and if they'll end up playing Coachella Valley in the finals, or maybe it'll be like the simulation, they'll play Milwaukee. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you could like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.